Hey, Norton. Fixed your radio for you. What? You're... alive? I'm not gonna lose to a blimp. <laughs> That'd be humiliating. Well, my yeah. troop thanks you for your service. Goodbye. Wait. You let me know if you find Brill Cream, right? Oh, yes. Brill Cream, of course. <laughs> we'll keep looking for it. Thank you again. Hey, it's Sam. Come yeah. back to our base. There's someone here that wants to talk with you. And she's kind of cute. My name is Forkin. Hey, sorry about that whole banished from the troop thing. It's for the best. Troopmaster Norton is a bad guy. Even though he says he's trying to find Brill Cream, he's not. I overheard him whisper something about Troopmaster Brill Cream at the hot dog factory. I hear this Brill Cream guy is really smart. He's a genius. A genius that might be trapped in a hot dog factory? I'm worried. He's been missing for a couple of weeks. We'll find him. You mean, I'll find him? Someone has to stay here and comfort for Kim. Right. Keep up the good work, Sam. Sam? If you don't buy a fortune, we'll really you'll build a new gun. Which, you know, best work yet. sucks. So what's the deal with the hot dog factory? Trying to survive the apocalypse, hot dogs are the last thing you should eat. Troop Master Brill Cream is a master at boosting morale. Maybe he thought a hot dog cookout would lift the spirits of the troop. Oh, that's funny, because I prefer to lift my spirits with actual spirits. Alcohol is a depressant and has many health risks. You're right. Better to eat processed pig lips and assholes. Sure, that's healthy. Okay, I'm at the hot dog factory. Look around for signs of Troop Master Brooke. Uh -oh. Scabs. And it looks like they decided to upgrade their arson. Where did they get those new weapons? They're not smart enough to design them on their own. You might have to deal with some scabs while you look for evidence. Think? Scabs and evidence go together like uh, hot dogs and factories. Found a Japanese sword. Not something a troop leader would have. Yeah, yep. seems weird, though. But it could be Brill Creams. He never went anywhere without it. I feel like that could have been useful intel to have at the top of this caper. But we need more evidence. <laughs> Found a bugle. Now that would only be something a troop leader would have, right? Brokring carried a bugle for some days, but I'm not sure why he would have brought that with him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. This could be anyone's bugle. I think... Huh, a troop leader's hat. Looks like something a troop leader would wear. That could be Brokring's. 
He was always wearing his hat. Okay, I'm convinced. Either Procreme is here, or he was here. You should check inside the factory. Survivalist. He may have locked himself inside. See if you can find a way to bust down a door or even a wall. <laughs> Door's locked. Captain, come in. Is there any construction equipment around? Anything that might help you get inside? <laughs> to bust down the wall. No keys. Wait, cranes have keys? Huh. What Batman do? Probably read this note out loud. Meet me in the park for a picnic. I love you. Well, that's helpful. Guess I'm going to the park to look for some keys. And maybe even have a date. <laughs> yeah. Hey, poor Cam. Sam's not being too annoying, is he? Not anymore. He kept trying to hold my hand, so I put my judo badge into action and snared him in a rear naked choke. Nice. But... Go easy on him. I get the sense he doesn't have much experience with the ladies. Well, he's been a perfect gentleman since. He showed me around, I met his friends. He even taught me how to do a little C++ coding. Wow, be sure to invite me to the wedding. I love free food. Wait, what? Okay, I found the picnic site. Looks like the crane guy either turned OD or was mauled. Damn, those keys to the crane. If we're lucky, he turned OD. Go kill some and see if any of them have the key. Ah, that's what I need. Fizco box. The crane operator turned OD. He's probably in this park somewhere.
doesn't look like any car key I've ever seen. If this doesn't start the crane and I have to keep running around killing OD and looking for keys, I'll probably rage quit. Hey, Fort Kim, you there? Yes. Did you find the key? Yeah, but I have something more important to talk about. Okay. So what do you think of Sam? Really? Oh my. He kind of reminds me of this class turtle we had in fourth grade. We set him free in the ocean one day. Then we found out later that he was a freshwater turtle. Don't tell Sam that story. take advantage of this. When am I going to get a chance to destroy stuff in a crane again? Ah, oh, damn it. Those pallets were actually overcharged deliveries. Now this place is about to be stupid with OD. Good thing I have godlike crushing power. <laughs> I better crush those OD before they turn into poppers. take advantage of this. When am I going to get a chance to destroy stuff in a crane again? Oh, damn it. Those pallets were actually overcharged deliveries. Now this place is about to be stupid with OD. Good thing I have godlike crushing power. <laughs> I better crush those OD before they turn into poppers. I found a note from Brill Cream. It's dated two weeks ago. What does it say? It says, hot dogs spoiled, heading to Hepcats to meet Norton. Scabs on my trail, we'll try to lose them. Let's meet at Hepcats and look for more clues. I knew Norton was involved somehow.
Troop Master Norton. Hey, Norton. How's that search for Brill Cream going? <clears throat> yep. Not good. I believe it's time to call it off. Not yet. I'm following up on a lead. Oh? I found a note from Brill Cream. He said he was going to meet you at Hepcat's Diner. Whatever happened with that? Well, as I recall, uh, he never showed up. Where did you find that note? You're lying, Norton. What are you hiding? How dare you! A troop master never lies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important troop matters to attend to. Meet me at Hepcat's diner. I think poor Kim could be in trouble. On my way. just left. Those smoke signals at the train station could be Brill Creams. But I saw a bunch of scabs going after her. You gotta get up there. I'm trying to contact poor Kim, but her phone is dead. Oh, I hope she's okay. She probably turned her phone off. Either that or she's sick of your constant texting. Did she at least go armed? She knew always prepared. She had a baseball bat and a book on how to tie knots. Clever girl. I'm at the bottom of the station. It looks like a whole scab legion is occupying this place. train get out of my sights.
bullets in its belly could create a nice fire. a beat on those thrusters. That'll slow the train down. Stop this thing before the road! 